Welcome everyone to another video on the Karting Tips channel, and this is episode 2 of How to Hot Lap. Today we'll be covering the different racing lines, overtaking lines and defending lines on how to take a 90 degree right hand turn and 90 degree left hand turn on a go-kart track. I'll be explaining the theory behind the different racing lines, as well as analysing onboard karting footage to find the different speed secrets on how to execute the perfect turn-in on a right and left hand turn. Hopefully, you'll be able to leave this video with some useful tips and tricks. When taking a right or left hand turn, it's important to understand that the fastest driver is the one who can exit the corner the quickest. This means, on approach to the corner, you should try to take the optimal racing line which can help you maximize your exit speed. The racing line is the fastest way to take each corner. If you follow it correctly, it should enable you to achieve a very fast lap time. In karting, the racing line can vary from track to track due to the different surfaces that you may drive on. For example, the racing line you'd use on a wide outdoor go-kart track will be different to the racing line you'd use on a tight and twisty indoor go-kart track. For a wide outdoor go-kart track like the Lucille karting circuit, it's best to take the geometric line through the 90 degree right or left hand turns. So for this racing line you'd want to use the full width of the track, meaning you'd approach the corner from the outside edge, you'd want to start turning in and aim to take a middle apex, in this case, the orange tyre can act as a reference point and we've executed that middle apex. Now, run the cart out to the outside edge once again because this is maximising your exit speed and this is how you'd gain that lap time. To give you an off-board perspective, let's follow the QKC racers as they negotiate turn number one at Lucille, which is a 90 degree right hand turn. And let's focus on Ahmed at the front of the pack here, in the blue and black helmet, approaching the corner. He's at the outside edge, following that geometric line. The entry position is perfect here. He's looking towards uh, the target apex, which is a middle apex in this case. So he wants to start getting his turn in done now, and as he steers inwards, he wants to aim towards that red and white rumble strip perfectly executed middle apex. His attention will turn to the exit point now, which is once again going to be on the outside edge. As he opens up the steering, runs the cart out over here, he's gaining that momentum on exit of the corner, and objective achieved, the geometric line has been executed perfectly there. For a tight and twisty indoor go-kart track like the Villaggio karting circuit, you'd want to use a slightly different racing line. This is what I call the three-quarter rule, and essentially you'd approach the corner either three-quarters away from the outside edge or three-quarters away from the inside edge, depending on where the grip is located. In this example, it's a freshly surfaced track, so there's plenty of grip to use everywhere. So let's approach the corner from the outside edge, leaving a three-quarter gap from the inside edge, and we'll tap the brake and start to get our turn in to really throw the cart in to a targeted middle apex. The red and white barrier in between can act as a reference point, and as we head there, we've executed a perfect middle apex. But that's not it, we want to maximize our exit speed, so let's look towards the target exit point, which is the outside edge, the outside barrier. And as we head over there, in a straight straight line motion, we've maximized our exit speed. On the other hand, if you're approaching the corner on a track surface which is very slippery, it's best to be positioned three quarters away from the outside edge. With this racing line, you'd be gaining a significant advantage because you're not wasting meters by going all the way to the outside edge and then cutting all the way back to the inside edge. In effect, you're gaining a lot of lap time because you're minimizing the amount of meters you would take whilst driving to the apex point. So to give you an onboard perspective of how to drive this racing line, we'd approach the corner three quarters away from the outside edge, tap the brake and start getting your turn in done as you commit the cart towards a close middle apex where in this case the red and white barrier acts as a reference point. Now your attention will turn towards the exit point where you want to drive in a straight line motion towards that circled white barrier. Again, a straight line as possible where you're maximizing your exit speed, gaining that lap time and as you get right up to the barrier over here, you've executed that racing line perfectly. So to conclude this section where we've been discussing the various different racing lines, 
Ultimately, it comes down to the circuit where you drive at to determine which is the fastest racing line to drive on. Generally speaking, we've discussed some of the fastest racing lines to take on a 90 degree right and 90 degree left hand turn. So experiment which racing line is best to take at your go-kart circuit. Right, let's discuss some overtaking techniques which can help you overtake a driver on a right or left hand turn. Firstly, it's important to understand that when you're racing in an arrive and drive race, each driver will have a different racing ability. To take advantage of this, there are a couple of speed secrets which you should note down that can help you perform that perfect overtake without compromising your lap time. So you want to overtake the driver at the corner. However, you'll need to stick to the racing line when performing this overtake. And it's equally as important to keep your composure and also anticipate where the driver you're overtaking may be on exit of the corner. So let's roll some onboard footage to give you a visual aspect on how this overtake would look in real life. And then we'll slow it down and give you an analysis. So from the outside edge, we sweep in towards the inside edge, pass the driver and boom, that is job done, overtake completed, mission accomplished. Right, let's slow that down now. So we need to overtake the driver who has been circled in this photo. How do we do that? Well, we need to stick to the geometric racing line. This of course means we need to use the full width of the circuit. So we'll approach the corner from the outside edge and we'll start to get our turn in done, targeting a middle apex. Notice how the driver I'm trying to overtake is slightly off the racing line. Well, we're gonna gain an advantage now because we're gonna execute a middle apex to perfection, but our sights are now gonna be set on producing that overtake. Notice how the driver is slightly off the racing line. We have a clear run from this position on the track right to the outside edge that we're going to drive in a straight line motion and the momentum from the middle apex will carry us right past the driver and we've absolutely breezed past them losing absolutely no lap time in the process of this overtake. Here is another example of an overtaking maneuver where the driver we're trying to overtake is occupying the inside line, but we need to lose as less time as possible whilst overtaking. So from the outside edge, swoop around the outside as we target almost a shallow middle apex. We can't really commit the cart in this case because the driver was on the inside line, but on exit, we can run the cart out and maximize our exit speed. So for the final part of this video, we'll discuss a technique on how you can defend your position on a right or left hand turn. When it comes to defending, the driver who is trying to overtake you will tend to target the inside line as a way to perform the overtake. So to counter that, you'll want to defend the inside line on entry of the corner, but on exit of the corner, you want to position the cart in such a way that you're ahead of the driver who's trying to overtake you. So we're on board with Ahmed and he's trying to overtake me into the first corner. As I glance back and look to see how close he is, I decide it's time to start defending the inside line. This will force Ahmed to go to the outside line and follow essentially the geometric line. This is of course where you'd approach the corner from the outside edge. As we get close to the corner now, you can notice my cart is still ahead. But in this moment, we're both targeting our respective apex points. I'll be going for a middle apex, whereas Ahmed is gonna take a relatively middle to late apex. And as we exit the corner now, I'll be maximizing my exit speed. I've defended the inside line successfully and I'm still ahead. So as we review the onboard footage once more, the key is to defend the inside line, but then on exit of the corner, go back out to the outside edge again to maximize your exit speed and ultimately allow you to maintain position. So to round out this video, we'll just recap some of the key points which we have discussed. Number one was about the racing line and we discussed that you can use the geometric line or if it's an indoor circuit, you can apply the three quarter rule. Obviously the racing line will vary from track to track. So experiment which racing line is best to use at your go-kart circuit. Number two was overtaking and the three key speed secrets to note is number one, stick to your racing line. Number two, keep your composure. And number three, anticipate where the kart racer may be on exit of the corner. And finally, for defending, we mentioned that drivers tend to target the inside line as a way to perform their overtakes. So defend the inside line, but then on exit of the corner, make sure you're maximizing your exit speed so you can maintain your position. So to conclude this video, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found this video informative and you've learned some new speed secrets. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. I don't need to show you how many people have subscribed who are watching this video. If you like the video, you know exactly what to do. So be sure to share the video with your friends. Don't share it with your racing rivals, of course. But until the next video, guys, 
I will see you next time. Goodbye.